Hello friends, in today's class I wanted to talk about the one dimensional motion and this is also called 1D motion and uh, and before I start talking about the 1D motion I wanted to talk about the basics of the one dimensional motion what actually the one dimensional motion is so if I draw a navigation system in which I'm going to represent east here and north here and this is south this is west let's say if a car there is a car which is traveling in the east direction and then it travels back again in the west direction so it is uh, traveling along i can say along x-axis if the question is talking about the motion of a body along one axis then that's called a one-dimensional motion it can be along x-axis it can be along x-axis or it can be along y-axis also either like this in this direction or along this direction that kind of a motion is called one dimensional motion so now uh, when we are solving the questions on the one dimensional motion uh, there are certain things which we need to take care of there are certain parameters first of all i'll talk about those parameters like velocity is one of the parameters and acceleration is another thing and then the displacement and then there is time uh, oh, time is not a vector quantity, it's a scalar quantity. And then there is, it, within velocity, there is velocity initial and velocity final. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. These are the 5 parameters which we need to take care of. Now, you might see there are certain formulas uh, written in your books about uh, how to solve the velocity problems one dimensional motion problems and uh, how you can use those formulas so i'm going to talk in detail how you will how you need to select those formulas while solving the question so there are five formulas v initial one is v final minus v initial divided by time which is equal to acceleration another formula is v initial times time plus half a t square equal to delta d another formula is v final times time minus half a t square equal to again delta d and then there is another formula which is uh, v final square minus v initial square equal to 2a delta t and acceleration is also a vector quantity and then there is a fifth formula which is v initial plus v final upon 2 times time equal to delta d so these are the five formulas so sometimes it can be tricky which formula to pick and uh, when we are given some different values and we're not sure whether shall i use this this formula or this formula or shall i pick this formula or for that matter this or this one so which formula i need to pick so if you see in all the these five formulas one two three four five formulas you need only these five formulas to solve the, the uh, to solve the kinematic problems and uh, in in this uh, if i look uh, look carefully these five formulas are based on these five five parameters velocity initial velocity final acceleration displacement and time these are the five parameters we're just talking about in your questions when you're selecting when you're going to see a question you you'll notice that you will be given the three things in the question it will be talking maybe it will be talking about velocity initial and acceleration and it might end up giving you the time and it will ask you for the then it will ask you for the displacement let's say these three things are given to me in the question and the question is asking about the displacement so how i'm going to select the formula is i'm going to look into this these five formulas in which which formula so first of all i'll lo look into uh, look into the given condition and to find out condition i wanted to find out displacement these three are the given conditions so which thing which parameter is missing uh, uh, out of the total five parameters so this question 
in which I have been given velocity initial acceleration and time and I have been asked to find the displacement this question is just not talking about the velocity final isn't it so the, it, it is not just not talking about the velocity final so uh, I will I will exclude exclude all those formulas which have velocity final into it so I will remove this formula and then if there is a initial velocity I'll look into this formula formula number three does it talk about velocity uh, so it, it does not talk about the velocity e velocity final so I will use this formula to solve this question I, if I let's continue looking into the rest of the formulas the formula number one I'll change the color so that you can easily see uh, so if I look into formula number one it is talking about the velocity final so I'm going to exclude this formula again it this uh, this formula mm, okay oh this formula uh, this is the formula actually I will pick the this second formula not this formula this this I mentioned it wrongly this is velocity final this has to be velocity final here so I will exclude this formula also and then I will exclude this formula obviously and then I will exclude this formula also so I will not include any of these formulas and the only formula which is left over is this second formula that's the formula I'm gonna consider whole so this is how you will select the formulas so hopefully you were able to uh, know about how we are gonna choose the formulas now uh, let's look into uh, uh, let's look into one problem uh, which uh, in which we will only talk about the horizontal motion even in one dimensional motion we will talk about the horizontal motion horizontal motion so let's say a car is traveling with an initial velocity of initial velocity of uh, 10 meters per second and then uh, the acceleration given to us and this is in the north direction and the acceleration rather than accelerating the car is decelerating so we are given the car is decelerating uh, deceleration is given to us at at 2.75 meter per second square because it is decelerating so deceleration value will be negative uh, deceleration means we are trying to apply the brakes so I'm gonna try and portrait a picture over here so this is a car which is trying to travel oops or rather than travel north I'll change it to east so that you can easily understand so this car is traveling in the east direction and then uh, all of a sudden you have to apply the brakes when you can apply the brakes you are traveling at 10 meters per second and when you can apply the brakes your car will slow down so automatically the acceleration will be in the opposite direction that's why it is called deceleration and we take the acceleration value as negative uh, so acceleration given to us is negative uh, 2.75 meters per second square and then uh, let's say uh, the distance traveled by car distance traveled by car uh, that's what we wanted to find out and uh, velocity final velocity final is the car comes to the rest condition so zero rest condition means when it says is uses the question uses the word like rest rest means final velocity will be oops again final velocity will be zero meters per second so in this question I've been given three things one two three these three things are given to me and I wanted to find the fourth thing notice again I'm repeating the uh, emphasizing on these words like rest so he won't be uh, in the in the questions you won't be given the values like the final velocity is zero meters per second you will be given the condition like the car uh, comes to a rest or car stops so you have to understand the question carefully you have to read it carefully so that you can understand and find the value of velocity final mm -hmm. and some questions it will be given the car starts uh, from rest initially so car starts from rest means v initial equal to zero uh, so anyhow coming back to this question so I'm gonna go back to the uh, previous slide uh, yeah this is the previous slide so in this slide 
uh, I'm gonna look into the formula which I can use so this this question if I go back into this one so this question is just not talking about the time so I will exclude all those formulas which has time into it so I'm gonna change the color here again so if I use uh, this time this this is a time equation I'm gonna exclude this and this talks about time I'm gonna exclude this uh, this talks about time I'm gonna exclude this does this talk about time no uh, this does not talk about the time so I'm gonna use this formula uh, so let's use the formula v final square minus v initial square equal to 2a delta d uh, and uh, velocity is a uh, velocity is a vector quantity so we have to show the direction with it also but this is the comes to the rest so it means i don't need to worry about the direction so zero square minus and this is 10 square equal to two times acceleration value is negative now so negative means to negative 2.75 and delta d here if i'm going to do the calculation this is negative 100 equal to this is 2.75 oops 2.75 times 2 which is equal to 5.5 5.5 delta d and then dividing both sides by 5.5 this cancels out this is negative value the negative sign can be cancelled with the negative sign this is 5.5 so 100 divided by 5.5 that's going to give me 18 18.18 meters so displacement delta d is equal to 18.18 meters that will be the answer so this was uh, about the horizontal motion along the x-axis this was one of the examples for that now i'm going to take an example on on vertical motion so i have to remove this first of all hopefully i'll be able to remove this oops yeah so i'm gonna remove this also yeah cut thanks let's let's look into the motion along the vertical plane now along the y-axis so in this question the formulas whatever formulas we had um uh, the, we had the formula like v initial v final minus v initial divided by time equal to acceleration this was the formula for acceleration now whenever the object is trying to move in uh, object is moving in the vertical direction it is moving upwards or coming in the downward direction um, and if the object is on earth there will be the acceleration due to gravity which will act on the object and g value is known as uh, g value is constant which is 9.81 meters per second square for earth so you will replace a with g you will always replace a with g so this formula will become v final minus v initial divided by time equal to g another formula was let's say v the formula was v lost initial time time minus half a t square uh, or plus i think it was plus a t square equal to delta d this was the formula so i'm gonna change this formula to uh, i'm gonna change this formula to i need to change the color so draw uh, i'm gonna pick this color so velocity initial times time this formula will be plus half this value will be negative g g value will always consider it as negative all right so negative g uh, times times uh, uh, t t square equal to delta d so one of the really really important things which i wanted to talk here if i'm considering g value negative here if i'm placing it negative g then you do not do not need to put the feed in the value in your question as negative 9.81 all right pick one thing either write the formula as velocity initial times time plus half gt square and then whenever you have to put the value of g use it as negative 9.81 or or if you are using this formula then put put g value as 9.81 so don't confuse yourself 
okay acceleration due to gravity I'll, I'll rather I'll rather like to pick this formula and put the g value as negative that uh, I I use the same formula as given and then later on I'll place the g value as negative 9.81 and acceleration due to gravity come what may always acts downwards g value can never be positive if this value is the acceleration due to gravity is always downwards all right uh, so now let's try and solve one of the questions uh, on this one so i'm going to use the previous slide i'm going to erase this uh, from here and uh, and let's try and solve a question uh, so let's say and again you have to look for uh, the keywords in the question also uh, so let's look for one of the questions in which a, an object uh, you, okay you're standing on a cliff it's uh, it's you you standing on this cliff and you throw an object uh, as a free fall in the downward direction here so this object is falling downwards and if if the word is used as a free fall if if it is under free fall so it means v initial is equal to zero uh, so uh, or if you just drop 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 and drop an object then still v initial is equal to zero then uh, the object we wanted to find uh, we wanted to find uh, uh, v final let's say we wanted to find final velocity just before it hits the ground all right so again this this is where students find it a little complicated you never find out the velocity when it hits the ground when it's gonna hit the ground it will come to rest so students start assuming that it is okay because it's gonna hit the ground and it's gonna come to the rest no never that's wrong you just find you you try and you always find out the velocity for the uh, uh, for when it is about to hit the ground so v final that's what we wanted to find out in this case and then uh, let's uh, it's given to us that the distance or the distance traveled by or the displacement traveled by the uh, object is uh, 30 meters so this is 30 meters and now i wanted to find uh, i wanted to find the velocity final so i'll note down what is given to me v initial is given to me zero v final is what i wanted to find out and the uh, displacement delta d is given to me and uh, uh, now two things are only given to me oops why i'm putting a question mark here delta d is 30 meters and this is 30 meter down so if it is 30 meter down i'll put a negative sign here in front so negative 30 meters oops so negative 30 meters and now if the initial velocity is zero v final what i wanted to find only two things are given to me the third thing is not given to me and that's what we said earlier that uh, we need three things and we can find the fourth thing easily if i look into this question g value although it is not talking about the g value but it is given to me which is negative 9.81 meters per second square so uh, which formula i'm gonna use uh, i'm gonna try and i'm gonna go back did i write the formulas here no oh, i'm gonna keep on using the same equation mm, same slides shall i say so velocity it is talk it is this has one two three things are given i wanted to find the fourth thing and this question is not talking about the time again so it is just not talking about the time so i'm gonna exclude all the formulas which has time into it so time again i'm gonna exclude this formula oops why can't i die all right no oh, i don't know why can't i write no oh. so uh, if you're gonna look into those formulas so velocity in niche uh, uh, the formula which will be left over will be velocity final minus velocity initial equal to 2a delta d that's the formula which will be left so again i'm going to plug the values a value will replace with g now because in in the vertical direction 
acceleration will be acceleration due to gravity g this times negative 9.81 and this is 30 and this is 30 negative why because the object is traveling distance in the downward direction velocity final is that's what i wanted to find out this is square this is square minus zero square so velocity final velocity final value will be equal to square root of two times negative 9.81 times negative 30 and then once I'm going to solve this question it will be 2 times 9.81 times 30 negative negative will cancel out each other and square root of this value will be 24 so final velocity will be 24 meters per second in the in the this is because this is square root so this will be plus minus but the object is traveling in the downward direction so we will use the velocity final equal to negative 24 meter per second that's the velocity we will consider and so hopefully i was able to help you with this uh, with to build up some concepts uh, uh, with regards to one dimensional motion and other than that if i have to talk about some concepts um, i think that's about it uh, for uh, this this chapter and couple of things uh, you can always remember is if you're gonna throw an object if you're standing here uh, and you throw an object uh, upwards and the velocity on top it will always be equal to zero and uh, let's say if I throw uh, the object with initial velocity initial velocity of 10 meters per second and it says uh, find the distance traveled find the distance traveled in vertical direction so this is the only statement given to me and this is upwards so this is understandable that when it's going to reach its maximum height when the object's going to reach its maximum height velocity final will be zero and g value is always negative 9.81 meter per second square so that these are certain things which we need to remember in one dimensional motion another thing uh, which we can prove it we, you can try and do uh, do it mathematically also but i'm gonna tell you this is also you know, cor uh, correct uh, to assume that if you're going to throw an object with 10 meters per second in upward direction, the object will reach on top, the velocity will be zero, but when it will come down back into your hand, the velocity will again be 10 meters. It will hit your hand with 10 meters per second. So hopefully I was able to help you with the concepts. So see you with another video later. Have a good day. Bye.